you do like the Romans. When in Puglia, you do like the Pugliese. I'm taking us as fast as I can in this little Piaggio to a crudo lunch. <laughs> Thank you for inviting me for lunch. I yes. appreciate it. We are here with Antonio, okay, in a restaurant fish supply house. The sea is right behind us over here, so we're close again to the, where the fish is. Closing that distance is what Crudo is all about. So, Antonio, what are we doing right here, right now? We are opening the mussels because uh, to prepare pasta with mussels, uh, our traditional way is to have the meat raw. Yes. In this way, you can put directly the meat in the oil. So, what do we have going on over here? Here we have the cuttlefish. It's Sepia. fresh cuttlefish from our sea mm -hmm. to prepare tagliatella di mare. Uh, you know, like pasta, yeah. but made with cuttlefish. Wow. After cutting, we have a way to prepare the cuttlefish with seawater yes. in this particular Amazing. and very artisanal so way. That's the seawater and it's reacting somehow with the proteins. And you can see the yes. proteins are coming out the cuttlefish on the side is full of albumin. This is something I've always been wondering, is how they do this, how they, how they pre-tenderize the cuttlefish, how they pre-tenderize the octopus. You it's can amazing. try if you want. It's very, it's very crunchy buttery. out and very soft inside. Oh my God, it's like butter in your mouth. It just melts in your mouth. Amazing. The flavor is so incredible. In the same way, we prepare also octopus. octopus. And they this open up like that. Yeah. We put in the water to make as a flower and it's ready to eat the throat. Incredible, incredible. I just learned something. And the flavor of the sea is so profound. Again, Puerto is about the sea, the flavor of the water. We are here in this incredibly dramatic location with the Adriatic crashing on the rocks right behind us. I think Miguel is, is gonna make first for us the gambero rosso, vero? The red shrimp, which are right over here. First, he's taking this, what we call the sugo di gambri, which is right inside the head. Okay, and look, you can see it. It's, it's, it's the guts, and it's raw, completely raw. Look at all that flavor. It's all flavor. In fact, this shrimp is from the summer. It's full of eggs. It's full of eggs, which eggs, caviar. Caviar, guys. He's putting some olive oil. Oh, he's making almost a hollandaise out of the guts. A little bit of lemon zest. Beautiful. He's making like almost like a breadcrumb you know, dusting from the focaccia. Now he's grabbing the mozzarella. These are little baby burratas. Nice little couple leaves of basil. And now the gambero rosso. Pulling out the veins. That's actually the digestive tract. So a lot of times it has a little bit of sand in it. So you always want to pull that out. And now this will go. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. I can't wait to try this. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. The texture of the shrimp and the burrata are almost the same. Very buttery, very, very soft. And that's one of the reasons why this really works. And the gambero, literally, it tastes lightly of the sea, so it's not overpowering the burrata at all. Some of the breadcrumbs, too. some of the, the pagata. Molto, molto buono. Very, very good. Perfect combination of textures and, and flavors and super simple. And it's all about the shrimp, the burrata, and the insides of the shrimp. And he put a little bit of the focaccia just for texture. I wish you could try this right now. One more bite for me. Mamma mia. Mmm. Oh, come on. This is a locavore's dream come true. I learned so Thank much. You, and I'm going to get your fish. OK. I'm going to get his fish. <laughs> this is what I do. I come pleasure. here, and I find something like this, and I take it back to the States, and I give it to you. Here's the